Hey everybody and uh, welcome to this tutorial where I will walk you through how to create a hard and crisp drop shadow. So uh, by using the HDRI editor I will show how you can add in a shadow like this on your renderings. So I'm taking this to this in the next few minutes. All right, so here in Keyshot, I have my scene. It's uh, a trumpet model from GrabCat sitting on a backdrop ramp, and it's lit by this custom HDRI that I made, especially for this angle and setting. Um, looks like this, and it looks nice, and um, we have this soft shadow down here, but what to do if you want to uh, add in a crisp shadow as well, like this one. Whoops, no settings. What you have to do is to, uh, here in the project tab or project menu, go to the environment tab, open up the uh, HDRI editor and shift windows around to make some room for everything. Oops, hide this one. Like this. Okay, so now we can see the uh, HDRI and our scene at the same time. To add in this uh, crisp shadow, we need to have a tiny spot pin. To create that one, I am clicking here on add pin, add pin, and it gets created right here. To create that, crisp shadow, we need a very low radius of something around two. And then the brightness needs to be bumped up to something like 300. And um, to better be able to adjust its position, uh, I'll turn the other pins off so we can see the contribution just from this pin. Uh, so by moving it up here, we start to see our nice crisp shadow. Okay, so place it wherever you think it looks good. Um, but I wouldn't advise to uh, position it like this, you know, like spot on. So it's it looks like a cheap camera blitz like that. Um, I think um, for this shot, looks good when it's coming from the back the lighting and creates like a shadow here on the ground so when it is in position you can turn back on the other pins and see your results and uh, that's actually it so maybe you have to adjust some of the other pins if stuff started to bleeding out but here it looks actually quite okay. Nothing is uh, over bright. If you want to uh, make this shadow even more crisp, you can see it gets a bit soft here on the on the far edges. Um, all you have to do is to adjust the radius. So we can bring it down to one and then bring up the brightness to uh, 1000 maybe, or maybe even 2000. It, um, it's like a balance be between this radius and brightness. Yeah, so this uh, brings it out again and it looks really crisp now. If you want to make it more soft, you have to uh, increase the radius and uh, then turn brightness down quite a bit. Yeah, here we go. So you see this shadow is now more soft but still clear compared to what we have before when it was not active this pin when you're done with your changes remember to save the hdri and that concludes this short tutorial just to make things clear i will run through the process one more this time using a exterior hdri so some HDRI already have this, uh, they already create this sh 
shop shadow due to the sun in the HDRI. But let's say that you like uh, the colors of the reflection from this Iceland location. And uh, you see that it has no sun in it, so there's no shop shadows. So again, open up the HDRI editor and go to the pins tab. Click the plus sign and add pin. Adjust the radius to something like two. And again, bump up the brightness to maybe 500. Yeah. Looks good. And then again, adjust the position. Let's go with this and close that one down. And you see, you now have the same HDRI, the same reflections, but now with this clear drop shadow. Thanks for watching this. I hope you learned a trick or two. And as always, subscribe and share if you like what you saw and want to see more of this. Take care. Bye.